Hello everyone and welcome back to a new speed building video in the Sims 4 series. Today I want to talk to you about a house that I've discovered accidentally in the world that comes with the new expansion pack called Eco Lifestyle. Um, so while I was exploring the neighborhood over there I saw this house on, in the background and I thought it looked pretty interesting and uh, I thought I could build it uh, I could give it a try and build it myself in the game so this is that actual house you you're seeing build build here but there was one problem unfortunately my screen recorder got updated so it went to some default settings and when I when I recorded my screen for this build uh, unfortunately uh, the format it saved was not compatible with my video editor so there is not um, there isn't the, all the footage that I took in this video unfortunately but um, I still got pretty much out of it so uh, the exterior exterior is basically the same as uh, in the as you can see in the background of this neighborhood but the interior of course um, I couldn't have access to so I just used my imagination to do it um, it turned out pretty it's pretty spacious I thought initially it's it was gonna be like a tiny house because it looked pretty small but actually when I tried to build it it turned out it's quite spacious on the inside also on the upstairs like if you look at the, the exterior of the of this house it doesn't have too many windows so uh, at the upstairs I managed to build two bedrooms but unfortunately one of them doesn't have an, a window but I still added one curtain so it looks like there is a window but there isn't actually a window there but I mean it seems I think I don't think they're gonna mind so uh, I went for a more more modern look for the interior of this house because the exterior looked like modern with that garden paved garden and like the back if you noticed so I tried to do the same for the <laughs> for the indoors um, so yeah even like the first floor it doesn't have too many windows uh, I don't remember if there was one no there's not there's no window in the bath the bathroom but there is this window here where I put the staircase because I initially I wanted to make like kitchen here or like living space well it's still still part of the living space but um, it was quite complicated to furnish it or like to decide which room to go where because of the structure of this house and like the arrangement of the windows but I really wanted to keep the exterior exactly like you can see it in the background so yeah I ended up putting the kitchen over here where you're seeing it built right now um, it's a quite small kitchen and there's only room for one dining table at the end at the back of that sofa over there so the, the dining area the dining space is pretty small um, but the living is quite spacious um, it has this house has two bedrooms one uh, downstairs and one upstairs and the one upstairs it only has like a shower and a toilet and I think I forgot to put the sink on but there was no more space to put it because I wanted to add like washing machine and like a dryer also there is a veranda here around this house but uh, it's very small so not too much room to put anything over there so this house doesn't have too many accommodations for the, this expansion pack like a candle making machine or anything like that it's just a modern house but um, I think if you'd like or if you're interested to download this you can find it uh, on the gallery uh, on my profile and you are free uh, feel free to modify it as you wish and add whatever you wish or play with it however you like I just thought it would be a nice thing to have it playable as a, an actual house because like the houses we get um, in the sims like the playable houses are not like very interesting 
but this one even though it's just like a background house it looked quite creative and interesting so I don't know why we didn't get this as a playable house instead of just background house but anyway um, I will let you enjoy the rest of the video and um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye